Okay, so welcome to part three of the home networking guide. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Hopefully you're enjoying this series so far. Today, what we're going to do is we're gonna learn how to create port profiles. Now, what exactly is a port profile? Well, it applies to network switches. In this case, the GWN 7801P. And what we're gonna do is a port profile basically defines parameters for particular switch ports. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how to define port profiles in the GCC 6010 to manage the connected switches. So I'm already logged in. Let me switch over. Here we are. I'm already logged into the GCC 6010. I'm not going to cover how to do that because we talked about that in part one and in part two. So if you're following the series by now, you should be able to get logged into the router. We're on the overview tab. We are gonna come over to the network node tab. So we'll click on network node. We're gonna come down to switch management on the left menu, and then we're gonna to come to configuration. And then we're going to come over to this tab where it says port profile, and we're gonna start defining our port profiles. Now, I wanna to talk to you about this all VLANs port profile. Like, what does it mean? I know it could be confusing. I know in the beginning when I started learning this stuff, I found VLANs to be quite confusing. They're pretty complex and not easy to explain. And I'm going to try to do my best here without getting too deep. So let me switch back to the split screen for a second. So in layman's terms, we see here we have the native VLAN of VLAN 1, meaning this profile is going to pass the network information for the 192.168.80 network. That's our main network in this home network build. That said, it also has the ability to pass the network traffic for all the other networks in addition to the main network. Again, for our build, the other networks are our IoT network at VLAN 10 and the guest network at VLAN 20. But the question is, how does the profile know which network to, to assign to a device like what IP address does it give out well again that's all dependent not only on the profile but on the type of the device that's plugged into the actual switch port what do I mean by that well if you take a look I have my computer plugged here into port 8 on the switch since computers don't associate with any type of VLAN tag the switch profile knows to assign uh, an IP address in the main network. So in the case of the computer, I should have an address in the 192.168.80 network. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let me switch back and let me bring up my network settings. And then here under network, under ethernet, you should be able to see that I have an address in the 192.168.80 network. It was assigned address.104. However, the key here is the network is the 80 network. In our case, our main network. So everything is working as planned. So why do we need to add additional networks? Well, here's one example. Let's just say you have someone visiting, they have a laptop, they want to make sure they have a really solid connection. Now you could always let them connect to your Wi-Fi guest network, but for whatever reason, they want to connect to your network via an ethernet cable, but you still want to get them on the guest network. You don't want them on your main network, right? So how do you do that? Well, port profiles help you achieve this. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's come back up here. Let's add a port profile. And this profile is going to only allow traffic for the guest network, nothing else. So let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it guest network. And then under the native VLAN dropdown, instead of VLAN one, we're gonna pick VLAN 20, which is our guest network. The only allowed VLAN to pass is going to be VLAN 20. We'll leave everything else the same even though you can set other parameters here on the profile, we're just going to focus on the assignment of networks or assignment of VLANs in this tutorial. So let's come down and click the save button. And now you can see we have our guest network port profile. The native VLAN is 20 and the only VLAN allowed is VLAN 20. However, we're not done yet. We have to now assign this new guest network port profile to the port or ports on the switch that we want to designate as guest network ports. So we're going to do that by coming over to the left menu, clicking on switch, then we're going to click on the switch itself. 
Then across the top, we're gonna to click on port. We're gonna come over to port eight, which is currently my computer. We're gonna click on that, and we could see here that the port profile assignment is the all VLANs port profile. So what we want to do is we wanna change that to the guest network, and then I'm gonna give it a name because that's always a good thing to do. So I know that it's a guest port, and we're come down, we're gonna say save, and now we'll give the switch a few seconds to provision. And I should be able to now get an address in the 192.168.20 guest network. So let's check it out. Let's go up to the system settings. Let's go to network. Let's go to ethernet. And you can see here now the IP address is 192.168.20.104, whereas before it was 80.104. So the port profile was successfully created and it was successfully applied to the switch port and you can see the address now is in the IOT net I mean in the guest network. So you can create as many port profiles as you see needed based on your own network requirements. I could go ahead right now and create another one for the IOT network but it's really not necessary but it can be done. So I hope you're finding some value in this video and the series so far. And if you are, please go ahead and give this video a like and, and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help out. Again, if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the video on the screen. And thank you so much for watching.